when the Kohanim were instructed to give their blessings to the Jewish people, what we call today Duchanim, they were told by Moshe, So you should bless the nation of Israel. This is what you should say to them. The word Amor can be written with a Vav or without a Vav. Rashi, the famous commentator, points out that here in this instance, it's written with a Vav. Why? To teach the Kohanim an important lesson. They shouldn't rush their blessings and do it quickly, but rather to take their time. Be patient, be focused, be mindful on the blessings that you give the Jewish people. And that's why it has an extra Vav in that word to indicate more time, more patience. What a phenomenal lesson, not just for Kohanim, but for each one of us. Because we all give our blessings to our friends. We all greet people. But the question is, not so much what we say, but how we say it. So often we're quick, we're rushed, we don't have time. We greet someone and at the same time we're saying goodbye to them. Do we really focus and concentrate on the blessing that we give the other person? Or can we be more mindful, more patient? To stop that which we're doing and focus on our friend, on our family, on our acquaintance and greet them with patience and mindfulness. We're living in a world that's working and running so quickly. And here the Torah is eternal. The message is so applicable to today. And that is take a breath, pause for a moment and concentrate when sharing that blessing with the other person. They will appreciate it so much and we too will appreciate that experience much, much more. Shabbat Shalom.